wrapping up on this edition of The Greater Report. Crosby's head gets a little cold. Natalie interviews another teacher. And Tyler talks again. All this and more coming up on your Greater Report. Thanks for joining us for this week's Raider Report. I'm Graciela. And I'm Tyler. To start off this week's Raider Report, we have information about college visits. On Wednesday, February 8th, UW-Green Bay will be back to meet with students in the Career Center. It will begin at 9 a.m. If you would like to sign up, stop by Student Services. Also on February 8th, there will be an informational meeting about the upcoming track and field season during CPC. If you are interested in joining but can't make it to the meeting, contact Coach Camps. Turning to other news, it has been a busy week in the Culinary Arts Lab. On Wednesday, Culinary Arts 2 students created full menus to determine marketing strategies for their target markets. Here's Ms. Mary to tell us more. Down. Let's stand down. Let's down. The project was um, for Culinary Arts 2 students. Each group was actually making their own menu based off of a restaurant that they're creating for their marketing project. So. Um, each came up with, with a target market that they were going to develop the restaurant for, and this was their time to practice some of those recipes that they wanted to put on their menu for that particular target market. So we had Lancy and Air going just by chance yesterday. So um, when they did that, we had salmon, we had steak, and we had a chicken dish going on. Um, overall, it went really well. Um, the students learned a lot from the labs themselves because uh, one had never made salmon before, so it was it was new a new technique for them. They judge it on taste and presentation, and then they pick one overall winner. Ben Riggle, um, Angela Lee, David Wilson, they all got to play with food that they were passionate about. Congrats to all culinary arts students on their creations. Down in the music department, the Plaska Music Boosters are holding their biggest fundraiser of the year this weekend. That's right, Chillerific Music Palooza is set for this Sunday, February 5th. Please consider joining the band and choir on Sunday as they continue to fundraise for their March to the Rose Bowl Parade in Pasadena next year. Tickets can be bought ahead of time with the QR code on your screen and significantly increase at the door. Included in your ticket is all you can eat chili in a dessert. Chili is available from 11.30 a.m. to 2 p.m. Along with Chili, you can participate in the silent auction, raffle baskets, among many other things. Prizes include a new Oculus headset and an autographed Packer football, just to name a few. There will be performances in the Commons until 1.45 p.m. when the band will perform in the gym. We hope to see you there. In other news, FFA competed in their district leadership development events last week Wednesday. Taylor Moraszek and Marna Andre participated in prepared speaking with Taylor taking second and advancing to sectionals. Laura Springers and Claire Betley competed in employment skills with Laura taking first and advancing to sectionals. Claire Betley, Sarah Sumner, Lily Nygren, Taylor Moraszek, Madison Vandehei, and Kaylin Gracielny competed in parliamentary procedure. They took first and are moving on to the sectional competition. Faith Posberg participated in discussion meet and Jenna Posberg participated in creed speaking. Speaking of the recent competitions that took place, congratulations to the Pulaski dance team this past weekend as they qualified for state in D1 Pick and D2 Palm. The Pulaski dance team takes off the lacrosse this morning around 10 a.m. to compete at state this weekend. Congratulations to Cassidy Vandekorpet and Anna Friedman as they qualified for state in their D1 solo. Good luck to the Pulaski dance team at state this weekend. And now over to Benson and Aiden with this week's Raider Sports Report. Thanks, Graciela and Tyler. The girls' basketball team was back on the court in Sheboygan North, falling 53-44. to Tonight, the girls will take on Green Bay Preble. Meanwhile, the boys' basketball team was back in action last Tuesday, also taking on Sheboygan North, Golden Raiders. The team suffered a tough 73-80 to loss. Both Brady Wachruba and Derek Shaw scored over 20 points. They are set to play this Friday when they take on the Preble Hornets at Preble. In boys' wrestling, their most recent competition on Saturday, the 28th, competing in the Pulaski Invitational, with Jake Fredrickson taking 5th, Rocky Ambrosius taking 6th, Ethan Eggert taking 1st, Connor Noyan taking 4th. He used to cover the Pratt, uh, Pulaski fifth, invite. He always Vincent claimed Taylor this is his. Griffin Van Landen taking 6th, Tristan Taylor taking 6th, Chase Wusencraft taking 4th, Trent Gibbons taking 1st, Will Friedman taking 4th, and Eric Spududo taking 7th. Two falls As along the way. Freshman Leah Kaplow, Kaplow, Kaplow also took second, getting two falls her way back through the bracket to finish as the consolation runner-up. 
and the hockey team was back on the ice competing once again last Thursday, taking on Nina Hortonville Menasha and losing 4-0. to zero. They will be back on the ice tonight against Whitefish Bay at Cornerstone. For the girls' hockey team, they beat the CFM Sabres 3-0 to zero on Saturday and will be back in action next Thursday against Central Wisconsin. Swimming was back in the pool on Tuesday against Stewart County United, shown in the top lane is the Pulaski 400-yard freestyle relay team, consisting of Patrick Lara, Carter Grassi, Charlie Dufferin, and Jace Olson. Charlie Dufferin finished his portion after a huge comeback, and then Olson held off the opposition as anchor and brought home the victory for Pulaski. And finally, dance qualified for state. They will compete this weekend in lacrosse. Good luck to the dance team. That's all we have for this week's latest sports report. Good luck to all Black Seahawks on the rest of their winter season. Thanks, Benson and Aiden, and good luck this weekend, dance team. Once again, Natalie brings us a new teacher feature. This time she traveled to one of the art rooms. This week, I interviewed Mr. Carls. He's been teaching for a total of seven years and graduated from UWGB. What's your favorite thing you've done in class this semester? The favorite thing I've done in, in classes this semester, I, I think, is uh, working on the potter's wheel. I really like that experience that gives students, and it's something unique that the high school has that um, you don't have at the middle school or elementary. And, and uh, clay tends to be a, 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 me a medium that excites most students. If I think back to elementary, um, every student loves clay. Um, that's the, the favorite project for most students, and uh, to give that experience the whole semester um, is, is something I love to do. What's a skill that you have that most people wouldn't guess? Uh, so recently, uh, I've been, I picked up a, a ukulele from the thrift store, and it's, uh, it's, a, it's a little bit beat up, a little worn out, but, uh, and it's got some frozen characters on the front of it. Uh, but uh, my son Canyon and I have been kind of working out how to tune it and, and play a couple songs. Are you involved with any extracurriculars? Um, I'm involved with uh, three different extracurriculars here at, at PHS. Um, the longest two being uh, Art Club and I do the set design for the musical. Uh, both of them I've been doing for the past seven years, which is how long I've been here. Um, and I, I love doing both of them, uh, especially set design. That lets me use a lot of the skills that I've learned in college and kind of things that I like to do outside of school, too. Um, like, I, I like to kind of dabble in wood building and, and construction. So, like, I've, I've built our, our chicken coop at home and uh, a little tiny studio. So I get to use those skills uh, here and help students uh, develop and grow those. What is a piece of artwork that you're very proud of? I think maybe one piece that I'm, I'm pretty proud of is uh, the ceramic head that I made in high school myself. Uh, so I was, I was happy to kind of take over the sculpture class here at PHS. And when I found out that uh, one of our clay projects here was building uh, a clay head similar to the one I made in high school, um, I, I grabbed onto that and I, I love doing that project with the students here. Um, I found success in it in high school uh, and I got to make kind of a, a human figure. Um, I made Link from The Legend of Zelda. And what is a piece of advice you would give to all your students? Um, some advice for, for my students is, uh, I, I love when students take the project ideas and they kind of make it their own. Like uh, the, the ceramic box project that we do, uh, it's, it's a pretty simple project in design, just rolling slabs and kind of attaching them, slipping and scoring them. Um, but like, I like when students take the creative freedom and kind of turn it into something of their own. Like I've had students turn it into a, a crate and add texture and, and wood slabs to it. Um, I've had students even turn it into like a piggy bank. So it's, I, I love when they, they take their project ideas and they kind of really twist them and make them their own. All right, that's awesome. Thank you so much. Thanks, Natalie. Yay, weather! Sticks, it's you again. Anyways, here's weather. Today, there's a high of 6 and a low of negative 1. Tomorrow, there's a high of 29 and a low of 27. And, <laughs> and finally, on Sunday, there's a high of 34 and a low of 21. That's it for this week's weather, and remember, the Alamo. Who? Weather.
All right, I'll be right back. I've got to go do some things. Okay, I guess here's Tyler Talks. So, recently, I've been talking to Mr. Emmerich, right? And I've been thinking he'd make an amazing president. And I'm nothing if not a cheap copy. And I'm pretty sure Connor has asked this question before. So, I'm going to go around the commons asking you guys what teacher you think would make a good president. Let's go. <clears throat> so, Peyton Yaw, who do you think would make a good president? Definitely Mr. Mannenbach, 100%. Any reason why? He's just, he's him. Amen. So, be honest, who do you think should be president? Um, uh, Mr. Shmava. Any reason why? Uh, he's pretty cool. I agree. Yeah. Pretty cool guy. Thank you, Mr. Shmava. So, Grayson, who do you think would make a good president? Uh, Mr. Wayne Pierre. Okay. So, who do you think should be president? Be 100% honest. Lord Rebidic, because he's already a lord, and he's got the perfect spot to put a crown on his head. Isn't he bald? Yes, that's the reason. Ha! <laughs> so, who do you think would make a good president? President? I'd say Senora Fijiar, but only in dictatorship. So, Crosby, who do you think would make a good president? Mr. Jirak. Any reason why? Because I love you, Mr. Jirak. Aww. Aww. No, I love Mr. Jirak more. Carl, what teacher do you think should be president? Mr. Strobro. We love you, Mr. Strobro. <laughs> now, that's what I call awesome. Amen, brother. That was one of the greatest pieces of media ever produced. That's all we have for you today. Thanks for tuning in. Make it a great day and a fun weekend, Raiders.